and that was a kick in the stones that yesterday. Uh, Motherwell 3, Rangers 3, <laughs> Motherwell scoring in the last kick of the game, basically. Uh, and that's no waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Um, Motherwell took an early lead after Connor Goldson slipped on the wet surface. And the young, number, the number 24 for Motherwell, the young striker, he's actually a decent player, uh, basically lobbed it over um, Alan McGregor, who also slipped on the wet surface and they went in. Now, that first goal, I can't blame anybody. It was a wet surface, they slipped. It's out of the, it is out of their control, so I can't exactly blame anybody for that. Then, then uh, Borna Barisic picks a delicious cross into the box, headed the way by a Motherwell, Motherwell player, and Kyle Harford let, let, hits a decent, like Kyle Harford, he has a decent, he actually has a decent cross into the, he has a decent cross, he has a second, decent cross, what's wrong with me this morning, I'm just up, leave me alone, um, he hits a decent volley, hits after one of the Motherwell players, deflects after him, into the back of the net. Uh, a decent volley. I don't care if it was a lucky goal. I do not care about that. It was a good volley. Hashtag he's seven foot and he plays the flute. Um, but I care laugh he gets back into it as he always would. Um, then uh, might well take the lead again through a set piece. Another dead ball. Like a dead ball um, scenario. Um, and it was a corner. A free kick. Um, <clears throat> James Tavernier loses his man surprise surprise and Carl McHugh gets a free header and basically heads it across to the far corner now that is very poor for James Tavernier we all know he's got defensive problems we know that but that is just that is just that is just too much of that you don't, you don't, you don't allow your man to have a free header, especially if he's going to header it into the far corner of the goal. You just don't allow that. I'm sorry, but that is just peak James Tavernier. We just come back into it again uh, with a cross by James Tavernier. Uh, Kyle Laffrey heads, heads, heads it downwards into the surface, bounces into the net, which the goalkeeper I believe his name is Trevor Carson. He has no way of getting to that. It was a good header by Kyle Lafferty. That was two goals to his name. That was, that was brilliant. Brilliant by Kyle Lafferty. Um, and you can, and a wee message to the folks saying they didn't want him back. Are you glad we got him back now? Uh, and we took the lead again, courtesy of another Borna Barisic cross into Ovi Ajari. This time he turns it with the outside of his foot and hits it Trevor Carson did get a save to it but it wasn't enough to keep it out and it went from one side of the goal into the other side of the goal it was a good shot by Ovi Ajario. I'm glad he finally got his goal given the performance he's been making and hopefully he gets he just hopefully he lifts his head up and gets more goals as the season goes on uh, second half half, ke half time came 3-2 Second half, Rangers just defended so deep, allowed Motherwell to just go full out attack on them. Connor, Connor Salmon came on, who's a big physical guy. Uh, Ryan Bowman came on, Peter Hartley. These guys, you don't allow them to break you down because they will. Um, <clears throat> then, before the end of the game, they got a corner. We take over Jerry off for Lee Wallace, which I found very baffling. <coughs> and James Tavernier loses his man again this time, which was Peter Hartley, and he puts it into the back of the net for 3 3 and to end the game in a draw. Now, for me, I was gutted. I was. Because we had every opportunity to win it. We, sh we shouldn't have sat back deep and let just defend it. We have got to learn how to go, as the saying goes, go for the jugular. We need to learn how to kill games off. We don't kill games off. We're, we're the ones that's going to bugger ourselves up. Which is exactly what happens yet again. Um, and also we've got Motherwell celebrating that they've won the Champions League. Tin pot celebration for a tin pot club, as I always say. 
Um, but then you can do that. To end at 3 3. Alan McGregor, very unlucky with the first goal. I thought he could have done better with the third one to come out and become, be more commanding, take the ball away. Tavernier attacking, solid as always. Defensive, this is probably his worst defensive performance in a Ranger shot. I keep saying this play James Tavernier on the right wing. Just play him on the right wing. It's no rocket science. Um, Katic, he's a, he was the strongest of the back three there, I thought. Tackle after tackle, Goldson was uncomfortable. John Flanagan was uncomfortable. I thought Katic was mere solid of the back three. Um, Borna Barisic, my man of the match. Cross after cross, two assists to his name, which is fantastic. Um, Ryan Jack uh, kept that midfield solid over Ajaria. Attacking was solid. Andy Halliday. He done pretty well, he put a shift in. Uh, Lafferty and Morelos, I'm liking this partnership, I really do. Like I said, uh, for the UFA game, um, this is screaming for a Kyle Lafferty and Alfredo Morelos partnership, and thankfully, we got that. I can see I can see this partnership developing. Like I said, my man of the match was uh, Borna Barisic, but some things I want to say, there's some folks saying that they want Steven Gerrard sacked now. We're what, 12 games, 13 games into the season, including the friendlies? How many times have we won? Eight. Something like that. Eight. How many times have we drew? Five. How many times have we lost? Zero. We are still undefeated this so far. We've not lost a game. And yet you're still not impressed. You you you're basically wanting Steven Gerrard sacked over a stupid draw at Far Park. In case you lot have forgot, Steven Gerrard. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um. In case you forgot. Sorry about that. You break a something in my throat though. In case you forgot. Stephen Jett, in his interview, Stephen Gerrard did say there's going to be turbulence, and to expect it. This is going to be part of these. This is going to be a. This is going to be one of these bumps, and you're still fit enough to say that you want Stephen Gerrard sacked. Well, I said this on Twitter yesterday, and I'm going to say it right here, right now. If you are one of these people that want Stephen Gerrard sacked. Then I don't want you around when he brings us a couple of trophies home. If you want him sacked, I don't want to see you supporting us when he brings him trophies. And Stephen Craig and him saying that when when all that coming together um happened, that Al McGregor was throwing a knee, throwing a punch, throwing an elbow and whatnot. No he wasn't he. Which Alan it was a coming together. Every single one of these, every single player fell over each other. Was it ideal for McGregor to fall on top of that player? Maybe not. But he lost his balance. There was no elbows thrown. There was no punches thrown. There was no knees thrown. There was no kicks thrown. What kind of game are you watching, Cregan? You're as bad as Chris Sutton. Bitter. Biased. Honestly, I see every time when I'm watching BT Sport, it's like watching a mixture of Motherwell fan TV and Celtic TV. No, I don't watch Celtic TV before you ask. I don't watch that green. I don't want to listen to green, that green and white shower of rubbish. Uh, but aye. And the 3 5 2, would I use it again? I would use it for like games like Hamilton, Livingston, St Mirren. I would use it like that. I would use the 3-5-2 for games like that. Let the smaller teams to maybe get used to it. I wouldn't still be using it all together. But I would use it against teams like Livingston, St Mirren <coughs> and the likes. The smaller clubs to get used to it. Would I use it for teams like Celtic, Aberdeen, Motherwell, Hearts and the likes? No. Because they've got the kind of attack that they would expose their back three. So would I. 
Would I stop using a 352? No. Would I use it for smaller clubs? Yes. What would I use for the bigger clubs? Either a 433, 41212, 4231, 442. Anything that uses a back four against Celtic and the Leaks. That's what I would do. Uh, <coughs> it was a good match. A bit of drama. You wouldn't get that down south, by the way. Um, but I, like I said, it's a, it was a good game. And I'll, I'll finish off the video with the same message to the critic, with the, to the Stephen Gerrard doubters. I'll finish off with the same message as I said earlier on. If you're one of the people that wants Stephen Gerrard sacked, despite the fact he's 13 games unbeaten so far, then I don't want to see, I don't want to see you being around here, around us, when he brings a trophy or two home to Ibrox this season. I don't want to see you supporting us if you want him sacked. And if that happens, don't bother come round back to us because I don't want you.